Dear students, today we will discuss important topic for BSc students. This is final exam topic. Development of Psycon Sci-Fi. It is embryogenic. This is the part second. But so already we have started this topic. In this lecture, we will cover entire embryogenic developmental process of Psycon Sci-Fi. ये प्यारे बच्चों जितनी भी हमने नोट्स बनाए हैं उन सब की पी फाइल वीडियो लेक्चर उसके डिस्क्रिप्शन में अपलोड कर दिए सभी बच्चे बेटे अपने नोट्स डाउनलोड कर लें डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस डेवलपमेंट एम्ब्रियोजेनी ऑफ साइकोन साइफा द आर्न स्पॉन्ज दिस डेवलपमेंटल प्रोसेस इन्वॉल्व फॉलोइंग इवेंट्स फर्स्ट स्टेप इज क्लीवी As we know, in case of saifa, fertilization is internal. That that is in situ fertilization that takes place inside the sponge body. And after fertilization, after fertilization, the zygote, the single cell zygote, and that gets surrounded by the adjacent amoebocytes. They collectively constitute a brood capsule. Inside that capsule, zygote is enclosed. It means this entire process of development that occurs, that begins in the brood capsule. This cleavage means the single-celled zygote is converted into a multicellular body. That is blastula, which is single-layered embryo. First of all. The first event of development that is cleavage. Cleavage means single cell zygote first undergoes repeated mitotic divisions. First three cleavages are vertical, meridional, and the fourth cleavage that is horizontal, that is equatorial. As a result, 16 cell stage develops. Dear students, this is the picture of this is the diagram of 16 cell stages in which two groups of two different types of blastomeres are arranged. This upper, this upper tier is that consists of eight micromeres, and this lower tier that consists of eight macromeres. It means 16 cells are arranged in two groups, in two tiers. In upper tier, 8 micromeres. And in this lower tier, 8 macromeres. After 16 cell stages, means next cleavages, which occur in this upper tier only. It means these macromeres, they do not divide for some time. It means these micromeres which undergo repeated mitotic division. As a result, a mass of flagellated micromeres develop. And the embryo at this stage, it is single layered embryo. And that encloses a cavity. That cavity is segmentation cavity. That cavity is blastocene. At this stage, the embryo is blastula. It means the cleavage converts the single cell zygote into a single layered embryo and that embryo encloses a segmentation cavity or blastocene. At this stage, the larva, the embryo is blastula. Next stage is formation of stomoblastula. Means blastula, stoma means mouth. It means the blastula larva develops a mouth or a pore. This single layered blastula, single layered blastula in which these macromeres, it means the mouth develops inside these macromeres. And this mouth is blastopore through which the embryo starts feeding and it feeds upon the adjacent, the neighboring amoebocytes of brood capsule. Dear students, not kare bacho. Ye sara dekhre bacho, micromeres. 
these are flagellated and these flagella always directed inward at this stage when larva develops an aperture the mouth the blastopore this is stomoblastula it means the blastula having a mouth having a blastopore through which it starts feeding now it is stomoblastula next stage is next stage is this stomoblastula undergoes and that step is that step is inversion inversion means this inside is directed outward as a result dear students not kare the flagella directed in this blastocene now after inversion these flagella directed outward and this inversion occurs through this blastopore stomoblastula kya kaha bachcho humne first single cell zygote usko convert kiya bachcho after cleavage ke baad a mass of cells this single layered embryo that is blastula the blastula develops a mouth now it is stomoblastula now stomoblastula after inversion it undergoes a next step and this event is formation of amphiblastula amphiblastula it means now these macromeres which become almost rounded and granular these macromeres also undergo repeated mitotic divisions as a result the entire embryo it becomes enlarged elongates and elongated larva breaks up the brood capsule it means the larva comes out from the brood capsule and it gets released from the sponge body through outgoing water current it means now the larva starts free swimming life and at this stage the larva is amphiblastula because its half part is flagellated and lower half part having non flagellated granular macromere it is non flagellated it means the amphiblastula larva that is free swimming larva having half part is flagellated and half is non flagellated this stage is amphiblastula it is free swimming larva this amphiblastula next step is it converts into a two layered abhi tak bachcho the embryo was single layered one cavity blastocene the mouth was blastopore but in this amphiblastula the growth of macromeres closes the blastopore it is simply a free swimming larva after a brief period of free swimming it gets attached means the sedentary the sessile life starts and this amphiblastula changes into a two layered embryo that is gastrula and formation of gastrula occurs by invagination of these micromeres micromeres they get surrounded due to the overgrowth of macromeres means micromeres this half part flagellated half part gets surrounded by the overgrowth of granular macromeres these micromeres they produce the inner lining means it is future gastroderm conoderm and these outer granulated large macromeres they produce a flattened outer layer that becomes a dermal layer or pinacoderm at this stage the embryo is two layered this is the original cavity blastocele and another cavity develops here this one is future spongal seal and this means the single layer blastula is converted into two layered gastrula this is gastrula having and this future sponge seal opens by a blastopore and the final step of this development that is metamorphosis metamorphosis means the conversion the transformation of this two layered embryo into a young sponge this is the structure of young sponge 
it resembles like leucosolenia adult of asconoid class this stage in which dermal pores the spongocele which opens by osculum all these structure develop means radial means canal system also develops and this young stage is named olenthe stage so dear students ye sara sab kuch pyare bachcho development of cycon cypha very important topic we have covered and this was final exam topic of bsc students kal ke lecture bachcho discuss karenge hum canal system of phylum porifera thank you